Hello everyone, welcome to Zeltar Guide. This is a beginner's guide, I'm gonna show you guys everything you need to know if you're just starting your game or you're 10 minutes in. This is everything you need to know, let's get straight to it. I think I can say for sure that I have played 10 hours of this game and I am gonna tell you guys everything I know that is useful when you're just starting out. And we're gonna start with the basic. Of course you're gonna start, there's some supplies that will be given to you, other than that you are bare, you don't have anything, so you go collect or you use your hammer or whatever it was given to you, maybe an axe, and you start chopping, right? Wrong! Don't do that! Do not chop down the trees. As you can see, they are giving you branches even without you cutting them down. So the more you cut, the more resources that you are depleting. As you can see, I've, uh, as a fool I am, and of course not knowing, I cut down all the trees I was around here, and now I can't get them back. I cannot regrow them. And the only way I get my resources now, after I knew that was going to happen, is I go around every tree and see if there's any branches laying around. Because this is a con this will happen forever. As long as these trees exist, you will forever get branches from these trees. Forever. Like, that's infinite resources, but when, once you start cutting them down, the re your resource slowly but surely deplete until you run out of trees. Then what are you going to do? Go fight the zombies and cut trees? It's going to be hard. So the, I recommend you stop chopping down trees. Just stop. Just take the wood that's already been given to you automatically. They probably give you like 30 to 60 branches per day. That's a lot, so I think that would be enough. Anyways, let's go to the next one. So if you're just starting out, you'll probably be confused on what you're able to craft or how you craft it. When you probably start, the only thing you can craft, I would guess, is a wooden plank. Even if that's even possible. But I think the only way a wooden plank even appears is if you actually grab a branch. But if you want to get all these options, you need to check your, where is it, press T if you're using the PC, and here there's recipe. Here it will tell you everything, everything you need to know on how to craft stuff. So if you are able to craft bonfire, it's, it's telling you to craft roasted fruit, roasted meat, then after you craft roasted meat, it's telling you you can craft meat sewers. It will tell you everything you need to craft. Of course, of course it won't tell you everything, as you can see there's some locked ones there's some that is vague they're telling you but you don't even know how to craft them yet so it will not all be available when you're starting up but slowly but surely you'll be able to know what like if i wanted let's say i i crafted a wood plank as you guys did and when you craft a wood plank this one and this one will be uh visible to you well actually i think this one already is visible this one will be visible to you and you might be wondering, hmm, how do I craft this? Clearly you need a wooden plank, so craft some wooden plank. Then you get this one, then after you get the general workbench, then this one and this one will be appearing. That's, that's basically, the more you craft, the more. Now, like this one, an example is, I have not crafted a chair, but if I craft a chair, it will tell me the recipes on how to craft a table, and so on and so forth. So, that is basically how you know how to craft almost anything and everything in this game, which is a great tip. The third one is before you go out to the zombie apocalypse, before you pass this line and head on to the imminent danger that is lurking be uh, beyond, save, save your game, because you have a high chance of actually dying, as I did not at this point. <laughs> I mostly don't save, which has screwed me over multiple times, so be sure to save. Always save. Always, always save. Now that we are saved, let's go back to our place. Yeah, we are not going to go there. We are not going to risk it. I don't have anything. But there's something you need to do before you head out to the zombie world. And something you need to craft if you want to fight a couple of zombies. So let me show you those things I called. So once you have grabbed, once you have crafted your wooden plank and your general workbench, which is the first thing, craft your general workbench, try, try as much as you can to craft the metal workbench and I think that's all you need to, to do to actually unlock most of the things here. 
So with the uh, workbench you can craft some furnace, some bonfire which is great if you want to cook your food, furnace if you want to make some metal, some iron, so that you can go ahead and craft your workbench. Uh, with a metal workbench you can craft some guns, like you already have this, but you can craft an M M HM6 pistols, you can craft an SMP5 SMG which is, I prefer you get this as early as you can. If you want to know how to craft silver, I'll probably do a video next on that, how to craft silver separate video. Also, or you could watch my how to craft guns and ammo down below, I'll put it down below, which I already covered that. And you need to, oh, the, the other important stuff is you need to be able to unlock bandages. The only way you can heal in this game is through bandages, so you need to know how to craft them. You probably need to go grab some rags for that to happen and craft some clothes. So yeah, that's basically what you need. A workbench, guns, oh, crossbow, that's probably the first weapon you're probably going to craft. And bandages. Those four things are very essential. So get cracking and start crafting. Ah, the fifth one. The fifth one is the most terrifying one of all. It's when you're sleeping. Ah, uh, don't think that be just because you're sleeping zombies won't come. They will come straight to your house and they will kill you. As you can see here, this door is... There was a door here, but not anymore. There was a door here, not anymore, because zombies broke in. So be careful, zombies will invade, zombies will kill. So yeah, be sure to <laughs> be alert all times. And for the sixth and final one, I am going to show you how to take down all the different types of zombies and every trick I use for each one of them. So let's get straight to it after I craft some ammo. So let's start with the basic one, the normal walkers. Ah, that's from a movie. No, let's just call them zombie number one. Zombie number ones are simple of them all. If you just walk backward like I am, they will never catch you. Like literally, never ever catch you. But if you want to go fast, as you can see, if you're walking uh, backwards perfectly, you will not be as fast. But if you walk diagonally, your speed actually increases. So. If you want to get away, try to move as diagonal as you can, because that's the only way you could move fast. Apparently when you go straight back or straight to the left or straight to the right, while facing backwards, you're actually pretty slow. Of course, if you face the same direction, you're pretty fast, but if you're facing the other direction, not quite. So the easiest way, if there's only one, two, or three of them, I recommend just going in circles because you're going to go fast because you're going in diagonals and just shoot them. Shoot them three times with your crossbow. Easy peasy. Nothing more to worry about. Do remember to reload because uh, if you kick, if you keep on hitting, of course it will re reload automatically. But it's better if you want to be more faster. I recommend reloading while. Please don't blow up. While. <laughs> Uh, you could you could ah god damn it you could reload a lot faster so this is zombie number two the exploding one that one that has a huge mustache as it seems so if you want to take them down the easiest way is just let them blow up just get close to them they will have a few seconds they'll give you a few seconds before they detonate don't even waste ammo on them and they will blow up easy peasy with the second one now, the most difficult one of all, the one that is, <sighs> the one that makes me wanna throw this computer out the window. It is zombie number three, contender number three. This la this guy likes to spit arrows, I mean, I don't know why he spits, but he does like spit arrows at you. I don't know, just go in circles. I would like to show you guys, let me defeat the other ones. It's better to deal with them alone. Well, we find them alone, so this is the best way to represent how you could get hit, because I'm definitely getting hit 100%. I recommend you dodge just as before he is about to hit. You will evade it 90% of the time, which is great. You won't 100% evade it because sometimes he even can predict when you are about to go, so you can't even put, you can't even evade it every time. But you can evade at least like majority of them if you are able to dodge just before he hits and just go in circles and just hit him 
hit him in the head, go in circles. If you have an SMG, it will be a lot easier. Just go hard on your SMGs. If not, if you're always using your crossbow, go in circles. Try to avoid as much as, mu as much as his, of his go eating he shoots at you, and I think you'll be all right. So that's basically the three zombies type I have currently found. I don't know if there's more, but I have gone quite a lot into the game. I haven't seen any other type, so I'm just useful. If it was, please remember to like and subscribe. And until next time.